Hi guys, thank you for joining me for Sunday School today. So today we are gonna talk about Martin Luther. Now you heard a little bit about Martin Luther from Secret Agent Trish. And she talked about the bad thunderstorm that Martin Luther was in when he was studying to be a lawyer. And he was so scared of the lightning hitting him that he prayed to God. He said, if you save me, I will devote my life to God and become a monk. Sure enough, he was saved and he was good, true to his word. He became a monk. So when he was a monk, he learned things that he had never known before. You see, the Bible, I don't have a Bible handy, isn't that crazy? So you see, the Bible back then, not everybody had one. You only had a Bible if you were a priest or very rich or um, maybe uh, or a monk something like that because you see the bibles were handwritten back then so it took a really long time to copy down the, the bible well martin luther had spent his entire life thinking he had to earn his way to heaven and you know what he was wrong we have god's grace we have the free gift of god's love jesus died for our sins we don't have to earn our way to heaven the price has been paid and we are loved by God. This is such an important, wonderful thing. And Martin Luther discovered this and he was in awe and amazed. So he looked at all the things the church was doing and discovered that not everything agreed with that at all. So he noticed that if you had somebody die who you loved a lot, you would have to pay money in order to get that person to go to heaven. Well, Martin Luther didn't think that was right. And there were a few other things too. So Martin Luther took all of these disagreements and he nailed them on the wall of the, the door of the church. And this is kind of like a bulletin board, um, a way to, to kind of get some conversation going. Well, the church did not like the way this conversation was going and they didn't like him pointing this out at all. He actually ended up going to trial they ended he wouldn't change his mind he stood by and he said no this is god's grace jesus died for our sins i won't take back what i said and you know what people were trying to kill him it was pretty scary he ran away and hid in a castle ended up doing a whole few different adventures it was pretty it's actually a pretty cool story now, I do have in the links below or in the comment section, a link to a Playmobil video. And it is a really, really fun. It's about four minutes long and it's kind of like a Legos movie, but it's about Martin Luther. So I highly recommend you watch this video. It's pretty cool. So today, what we're going to do for our activity, um, because you see Martin Luther believed really strongly in these things. And this is our whole church is based on what Martin Luther believed. So we're actually going to color in Martin Luther's seal. And this seal talks about his beliefs. He actually invented this seal to remind him of God's love and how great God's love is. So the first thing is we're going to need a few colors. We're going to need our black and we're going to need our red and white, although the paper's white, so maybe we don't really need white blue, gold, and then green, although green doesn't really symbolize anything. So Jesus made the, Jesus, Martin Luther made this seal to remind himself of a few different things. And the first thing was that Jesus died for our sins. So that's what the cross is right up in front and in the center. It's black to remind us that Jesus died for our sins. And then we have the red heart. And I have this written down. So if you have to pause it to remember it, it's okay. And the red reminds us that our hearts are kept alive, are filled and kept alive with by God's love for us. So the heart is the great love God has for us. I'm just going to darken this a little bit. I colored a little bit ahead of time because it's got to be boring to watch me color. <laughs> so the next thing is the white. And the flower itself is white. So again, I don't know how much coloring we need to do. Maybe if you had a sparkly white somewhere in your house, that would be kind of fun. But the white reminds us that the faith in Jesus brings joy and peace. 
So this white is our joy and our peace. Next thing is blue. And the blue kind of reminds us of the sky. So the blue is right here. Can you see? It's this outer ring around the flower. And when you think of the sky, you think of heaven. So it's, a, it's that God, Jesus dies for us, fills us our hearts with love, brings us joy and peace, and we don't have to earn our way to heaven at all. It is a free gift to us. In fact, all of these ideals were so important, we ended up with a whole new church. The Protestant churches are all based on this, which is kind of a big deal. So I'm just going to color right to there because, like I said, you guys must get bored just watching me color. And our last thing, our last color that symbolizes something anyway, is gold. Now, in this case, we just have yellow because I don't have gold. But it reminds us of the eternal nature of God and the eternal life. So life in heaven forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's what that means. We are forever golden with God. And then, if you actually look at a lot of these symbols, these little areas between the flowers, can you see this okay? Are actually supposed to be leaves. So the green doesn't really mean anything per se, but I see on a lot of the pictures, green leaves with the flowers. So you can make your green leaves. So Jesus died for our sins. God fills our hearts with love. We have joy and peace with Jesus and with God, we have, we don't have to earn our way into heaven. We just have to love God and accept Jesus died for our sins. And the gold is our eternity forever and ever with God. And that is Luther's seal. And that's what he designed for himself to always remember these five truths. I hope you have a great day today. I'll see you guys later.